So good morning, everybody. I hope you had uh, a really good weekend. Was very grey and wet, and you might have found yourself doing lots of indoor activities. Um, yes, found myself hoovering. So uh, I put a message out late yesterday evening because amazingly, I haven't had any photographs sent as photo of the week. So I asked the senior leadership team about 11 o'clock last night, any suggestions for photo of the week and let's see what they sent in. So well done, good effort, senior leadership team. We have this one from, this was from Mrs. Chaplio. It's beautiful. These are the surfers down at Bournemouth Beach, sunlight coming through. So thank you very much for that. Let's see what else we came in. Now, this is from Mrs. Stone. This was taken at 6.30 a.m. and you can see the moon and you can also see the planet Venus in the sky. So that's quite an interesting one there for those of you interested in astronomy. Let's see what came next. Now, guess which member of SLT took this photo? Can you guess? Yes, it's Mr. Craddock. So this is Mr. Craddock, uh, his photo of the digger at the roundabout at Bournemouth University. But I have to say, I really like that photo. Um, well done, Mr. Craddock. But the final one, you know I'm always quite keen on fungi. Well, this is, uh, Mrs. Chapter took this down at Matcham's Forest. And Mr. Gibson identified it as a cauliflower fungus. And Mr. Chapley says it was the size of a football. I think that's very beautiful, actually. Really amazing. So thank you, SLT, for coming up Trump's late night on a Sunday. Uh, some photos came in. But if anybody else has got any photos, please send them in, because you could well be photo of the week on Friday. Now, today is a special start of a special week, and I'm going to hand you over to Mrs. Stone, who's going to tell you all about it. Are you there, Mrs. Stone? Yes, I'm here, Mrs. Holloway. Good morning, everyone. Today, Monday, November the 16th, marks the first day of Anti-Bullying Week 2020. And as it's a week, it runs until Friday. The theme for Anti-Bullying Week 2020 is united against bullying. Pupils in schools across the country are encouraged to wear odd socks to mark this week. And so if any member of the Tolbert Heath community would like to do that on Friday, it'd be great to see. Perhaps photo of the week next week. Last year, 75% of schools in the country got involved in the week which meant the anti-bullying message reached over 7 million young people. The Anti-Bullying Alliance have worked with a selection of schools to develop this year's theme, United Against Bullying. This year, more than ever, we have witnessed the positive power that society can have when we come together to tackle a common challenge. Anti-bullying week is no different. Bullying has a long lasting effect on those who experience it and witness it. However, by channeling our collective power through shared effort and shared ambitions, we can reduce bullying together. From parents and carers, to teachers and politicians, to children and young people. We all have a part to play in coming together to make a difference. We are all a piece in the puzzle and together at Talbot Heath, we should be united against bullying. So what is bullying? Well, it's the repetitive, intentional hurting of one person or group by another person or group where the relationship involves an imbalance of power. Bullying can be physical, verbal, or psychological. It can happen face to face or online. The Anti-Bullying Alliance has released an official 2020 film. So we're going to watch that in a moment. Afterwards, Emily will remind us of who can, you can talk to if you have a concern in school. Talbot Heath is a school where we encourage you to talk to a trusted adult if you have an issue. 
And if any tutor group would like to produce a film recognising Anti-Bullying Week, please send your entries to myself and Miss Elford. Cue the official film. Right, let's be honest. We've all had their moments. You know, the ones where you join in on the joke. You've liked that comment. Taken screenshots. Called names. Whispered. Simply never spoken to someone because no one else does. Sometimes it just goes too far. Sometimes we just let it happen. Sometimes we get caught up in a group or a moment. It may have been your friends that did those things, not you. But that doesn't make it okay. Bullying is not okay. At the end of all this banter, there's someone that goes home each day and thinks about everything going on. When it was a brief daily laugh for you and your mates. What if that was you, your best friend, or maybe even your little sister? Would it still be funny then? What you say and do, or even you don't say or don't do, has an impact. What if that was a positive impact? Let's face it, we live in a whole different world with pressure and expectation. But what comes with that is a power to make change. It's up to all of us to channel that power to make change happen. Don't laugh at that joke. Don't write to that comment. Don't be afraid to speak to someone who nobody else will. Don't evade people's space. Be the person to say that, nah, that wasn't cool. Choose to be an upstander instead of a bystander. It doesn't have to be groundbreaking. If we could collectively make these small choices, what bigger impact it would make. If you stand up against bullying, more and more people will too. If you stand together, your individual voices will come together as one, united. But we all need to play our part. Me. You. Us. The government. Social media. Teachers. Everyone needs to be united, united against, against bullying. bullying. So what should you do if you're a victim of bullying? Well, Talbot Heath is a school where we encourage you to share concerns with a member of staff. Your tutor, you see them every day and they're there to help you with pastoral and academic issues. Mrs Stone and her teddies, her door is always open and she loves to chat and have a cup of tea. Already this term, she has been called the happiness lady. The caring nurses who are always there for us all. We have a new member of the pastoral team, Sarah Jane, who you can speak to. She is not a teacher and is excellent at listening and is already working with the pupils in different years. If you're a boarder, you can talk to any member of the boarding house team. Reverend Burke has been wonderful support throughout lockdown. And if you feel he can help you, ask to speak to him. You can hand a note into the office addressed to him or ask Mrs Stone to arrange it for you. We have excellent staff here at Talbot Heath and you can talk to any of them. It is important that you are comfortable with the person and trust the person you choose to talk to. Of course, there are outside sources of help too. Childline has been running for many years now and is there for anyone under 19 in the UK with an issue they're going through, no matter how big or small it is. Childline has a great website with lots of advice and can be contacted free on 0800 1111. Cooth.com has counsellors available until 10pm every day and provides free, safe online counselling for young people. It has been commissioned by Dorset, Dorset Healthcare, Dorset Council, Bournemouth Christchurch Pool Council and Public Health Dorset. There are posters around the school showing useful contacts and these are updated as part of the Anti-Bullying Week and will be put around the school. I would encourage you to talk to a staff here in the school if you have an issue as they're experienced in dealing with such situations and really do listen to you. Talk about ways to resolve things and we'll help that happen. Back to you, Mrs Holloway. Oh, thank you very much to Emily and to Mrs Stone um, for starting our Anti-Bullying Week activities. And as they've both said, there are lots of opportunities for you um, to talk to someone here. We are a talking school. We are a zero tolerance school. Um, and I know that actually even pupils in other year groups, they're fantastic. They often come, if my door is open, someone will just appear and say, Mrs Holloway, can I have a word? And if they've noticed someone in another year group looking a little bit sad, they get involved they step in and they support and we've got some fantastic six form buddies as well emily's been one of those and we've got the there for you pastoral um setup that she set up as well with amy so lots of opportunities for you to talk to people and um 
that idea of being united, my goodness me, if everybody st stands up and says, actually, we don't agree with that, we don't think that's right, um, then that stops things happening. Um, you just have to have the courage of your convictions and speak out and get involved and stand united together. Right, we have one notice today, and this is from Mrs. Linden. There is a Sports Scholar Talk. Um, it's the second one on Sunday, the 29th of November, between 6 to 7 p.m., and that is on Zoom. Ex-pupil Izzy Davis will take you through her story of how her sporting passions at school continued after further education. Izzy now represents Great Britain in the age group triathlon multi-sport championships. She made her debut GB race in 2019, where she raced in Romania at the European Aquathlon Championships, placing fifth in Europe. Izzy has since qualified to race at the World Aquathlon Championships in 2020, along with the European and World Duathlon Championships, which is run, bike, run, and the World and European Triathlon Championships, swim, bike, run. She's continued to train hard over what was a fairly quiet racing season in 2020, but she's managed to stay motivated and focused with a lineup of big events to come. Izzy also has a full-time job working as an environmental sustainability executive for the National Grid, and she will explain how she juggles the balance of work, training, and downtime. So if you're a sports scholar, um, Mrs. Linden is looking forward to seeing many of you there. There was a great turnout for the first talk. Um, stay motivated, stay fit, says Mrs. Linden, which is a great message. So thank you for that. Now, I think that's everything. So I'm going to hand over to Reverend Burke. Are you there, Jonathan? I am indeed. Thank you, Mrs. Holloway. Shall we pray? Help us, O oh Lord, at Talbot Heath to be united against bullying, that we may come together tackling common challenges. If we see someone who is hurting or sad, may we have the courage to be an upstander, to stand up for what is right. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. Standing up for what is right. Have a very good week, everybody. See you on Friday. Bye.